today for this first video we're going to look at the modes and I'll try to answer one of the questions that I get asked all the time which is what do the modes sound like? Um, most people can and will learn the scales of the modes so basically just the, the note sequence without you know major problems the thing is when they start to uh, try to use it then they realize that they don't really know what kind of color each mode has and I think the reason for that is that we always practice the scales uh, in a vacuum so basically what we do is just play like this so we play C major and we learn that you know all over the fretboard and then we might want to study C minor and, uh, and we just keep going like that and the problem is most of these modes are really close to each other so for example take uh, the Ionian mode which is the major scale and the Lydian mode there's only one note difference so if you just play like this it's not that big of a difference because you have nothing to compare it to I mean this mode it's also a major scale of, of G so we're not going to get into that today but the problem with this is that you always listen to the modes in a vacuum and so that makes it very difficult to play and to use them in a musical manner and the other thing we always do is um, play on top of chord progressions so the, the idea is that you know if we have a chord then we'll know what the mode sounds like well you will but as soon as the chord changes the relationship between the scale you're using and the chord switches you know changes everything over so maybe the mode you're using now over C is not going to be that mode over F or G or A minor or whatever okay so what we're going to try to do today is uh, well first of all let me give you the one octave for each mode all right so we have Ionian or major Dorian Phrygian Lydian Mixolydian Aeolian or minor and Locrian Okay, so here's what I want you to do now. Um, let's take one octave only of the C major scale. Alright, and we're playing on top of a drone. A drone is a, a note that is held throughout. And um, you can have a friend over with a synthesizer or you can actually record it yourself in you know, Pro Tools or whatever program you're using. Uh, have a friend over with a distorted guitar. You know, hold the note like that for a long time. The idea is you only get one note, you don't get the whole chord and you don't change chords, so you just keep this one note. I'm going to use this little machine here, this is a tempura, an electronic tempura. This is, a, I bought this on my last trip to India, and Indian music, if you want to check it out, it's all based on drones. So they will have this note, and then on top of that they will just play all these uh, scales and rugs, that's what they call them. Anyway, check it out. So I'm going to play the a C. Right? And now you'll hear how apparent the modes become. So this is major scale, or Ionian. And, and this is the Lydian scale, only one note difference. So it's much easier to hear the difference now because we're comparing it to the root. So C is always the root. And we don't fall in the trap of just playing different major scales. Alright, so what I want to do is first off just start with one octave and uh, improvise. So pick a note, pick a mode and um, let's say Lydian and we just play on, that, on top of that. Octave. I did slip to C there, to B there, but you know, just stay on one octave and then also do the same for um, another mode, like Ionian. Whatever. 
whatever it is, it doesn't really matter as long as they're improvising and just feeling this, the sound. And so this is all I wanted to do for all the modes. Depending on your level, you can just do it on one octave, as I showed you before in the video, or just uh, you know move it up, move it uh, to all the fretboard. You can use all the frets, all the strings. You know your limit is the limit of the exercise. So just keep in mind that you have to have the drone to really feel the mode. And then once you get to that level, then it will be much easier on chord progression just to figure out which note goes where and which mode goes on top of which chord. Okay, so I hope you found all this interesting and you learned something new. And I'll see you next Friday with the next weekly session. All right. See you later.